So let's dig down a little deeper into this trivia here. So haloalkanes can react with ammonia or the cyanide iron, and you've just got to swap out the ammonia or the cyanide for the halogen. And just try and balance it up a little bit. So first of all, uh, for the ammonia, you make an amine. So in this case, methylamine or methylamine and hydrogen bromide. So the NH3 turns to NH2. And ethane nitrile is what's made when you add the cyanide. So all you just got to do is swap out the two things. It's a substitution reaction. Now it's not quite that simple because the ammonia reaction can go on for many more steps. So let's have a look at that. If I've got the ammonia and some sort of halo alkane, let's choose bromomethane again. So what can happen is one of the hydrogens on the ammonia is going to turn into a methyl. So I'm swapping out a hydrogen for a methyl. Now we've seen that before in the previous reaction, but it can go and repeat itself on and on. So if I move this methylamine down, there, finally found the right button, and then add in some more bromomethane, then I'm going to end up with dimethylamine, or dimethylamine. So I've swapped another hydrogen for a methyl. And you can do it a third time. So let's move that down for the third equation. Again, add in some more bromomethane. And now I've made trimethylamine, which is really smelly. It smells like bad fish. Some people that eat fish smell like this fish, but they can't actually smell the fishy smell themselves. So that might be you. And finally, we can get a quaternary salt produced by adding once again another methyl bromide on. So don't forget to put the charges, otherwise it will be wrong. So that's a quaternary salt that we've made. There's no more room. Once nitrogen has four bonds, it's full.